Hello everyone, it's Mish here and welcome to my channel. If you're new uh, or, and re or returning, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Today um, we're going to be doing another page in my Marguerite Miller uh, collage challenge book. I got this book at a thrift store. It measures roughly eight by ten, eight, uh, eight and a half by uh, almost eleven just over 10 and three quarter page, which I really love uh, the size. And I'm really happy with how the book is uh, shaping up as far as my collages. I do love going through it and, and, and having a look. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous uh, collages, they're all under the playlist um, of Marguerite Miller 2024. There is a playlist for last year as well, which I used a different uh, style of book. And, but, but yeah, so we're going to do another page in our collage journal. So this week is week 617, and the prompts are a number or string of numbers, a food packaging label, something with a weather-related theme, a bird, stamp, and lines. So I'm not, the bonus is a lines, so I'm not going to do the food packaging label, uh, but uh, but yeah, so we'll do the other bits. I have just finished vil filming uh, one of my Junk Journal Joy uh, videos for a garden story. So if that's something that you're interested in, check that out. So I'm wearing the same clothes and I have the same band-aid. I've been working out in the garden. Uh, so my hands are a little bit worse for wear this morning. Uh, right, so to start with, I think I'll put this side what I did for it fits lines as well as a string of numbers is I found this at the thrift store over at Value Village I love when I find little ledgers and, and stuff so I thought I take a page of this for my background but I wanted to mute it down so what, what I did is I took a little bit of clear gesso ju just a bit I put that uh, on the background I let it dry well and then I just took some of my unbleached titanium. This is just a cheapy artist loft from Michael's. Uh, I think it's here in Canada, maybe five bucks or something. And I just took a dry brush and I just dry brushed some of the background to make it look kind of, I don't know, I'm not gonna say antique, but uh, what I made the mistake of doing is I thought I had the exact right size, but it's a little bit too small. So I'm just taking a bit that I cut from the top and I'm just going to stick it on the bottom. But I don't really want to see that bit of green. So, uh, but before I do that, I, I want to do a bit of stamping. So I got out some old stamps that I had, and I think these came from Michael's as well. Um, and this one is an old Stampin' Up! one. So this is lines, which fits uh, one of the prompts. So I kind of thought that I would go along and just do some stamping of the background before I start it with my prompts. So I'm going to start just with, I think I'll do some little black lines. And I just want them to be really faint. I don't want it to um, take over in any way, just to add a little interest to the background and I think you can hardly see that but on video but from where I am it's looking really nice okay so you can kind of see them in, in the background so that's what I'm going to do with the black and then when I clean off my stamps under in my little desk here I got a stool desk it has a little cubby hole just underneath. I always keep my wet wipes and I just give my stamps a little bit of a wipe off. And then for the music notes, I was kind of thinking I would use just some vintage photo and see how, there's Chester running around if you can hear him screeching. We've been up since five and he usually doesn't get fed until seven. He still has food in his dish, and I've cleaned out the litter box, but he thinks that he needs to have something more robust now, but he's gonna have to wait. All right, so I just wanna put that in the background. Some little, just 
with some little music notes, especially where my focal point is going to be. And those are very faint, but they are showing up. Okay. And then lastly, I thought I would do some of the writing. And I was thinking I'd do the writing in the antique linen, but I'm not really sure if that's going to show up. So let's just see what happens with the writing. No, it's not going to show up. I thought the um, the tone on tone might show a bit, but I'm thinking I'll do that a little bit in black because I am liking the blackness in the back. Oops, I keep hitting my stand today. Let me see how that's going to show up. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. I might have to re-ink that, but let's see. So you can see a little bit. I think I just dropped some of my prompts. My desk is quite small, so. But I'm not complaining because I have a desk. So that's. So you can see it's just adding a little bit of something, something to the background. I love printed or written text. I guess that's a little bit of cursive text there. And I'm just going to put a little bit up in that corner. And I think I'll do the same with a little bit of the music notes. I think I'll just put a bit in black, kind of where my prompts might be going. Is that the right side up? Sometimes I'm never sure with music notes what's right, what's up, upside down and what's right side up. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So let's move this aside and cover my ink pads because invariably I'll have my sleeve all in that and I just have to pick up my prompt that fell on the floor. So I got, sorry about that guys, I got my prompts largely on Raw Pixel. Raw, raw Pixel, for you, those of you who don't know, is just an image, a place where you can get images. I do subscribe, I think it's, I don't know, $30 a month, um, but you don't have to. I, I do because I do a lot of images and uh, by subscribing, it's called a business um a business account or something and I can use the Im images in whatever way I want um, so I could I can do collages like tags and stuff and I, then I could sell them if I wanted to for right now I do it all for my personal use but you can get a free account and with the free account I think you have four downloads a day or something li uh, like that but um, but I really do li like it as a source for images all right, so I'm going to just get this down, and to do so, I'm just going to use my runner tape, which I forgot to check beforehand, so it's probably run out of ink, or uh, run out of tape, but we'll see. Um, I don't really feel like I need to really weld it down as long as um, it stays down pretty good. Um, I am going to leave a pocket on the side for my prompt, put my prompts in. This morning is Saturday. This will go out tomorrow. And it's it's starting to be it's a bright morning. So I'm gonna try. So I was up really early. I was up at 10 to 5, I think. I'm I'm an early riser anyway. But I wanted to get a couple things taped before the sun come up. So that's a, that's going to go about there, but I really don't want to tack the bottom bit completely till I get this bit down. So I'm just setting that there. So far out in my garden, I've spruced up the beds. So I have a planter that's Oh, about eight feet long by a few feet wide. And I did have some grapevines in it. 
that were just too invasive. So I've taken those out. Okay, there we go. So I pulled those out yesterday and oh my goodness, talk about hard to get that those out. I was pulling and cutting and gosh, I think they were, the roots are down to China. Okay, and then that can go there. Okay, so I've got my background down. I'm loving that. And then for my weather related items, I have something that is depicting Nova Scotia weather right now. And that's clouds and sun. So this morning, like I said, it's going to be sunny until around supper time. And then we're going to get a lot of wind and rain overnight until, well, Weather Network says until around five or so. And then in the morning, and then it's going to come out sunny tomorrow. Before I put my images down, I've taken my pit pens and I've just gone along the edge just to hide the little white uh, where I've done my cuts. So for the sun, I just used uh, an orange one that I had. It's just called Orange Glaze. And then for the cloud, I just used a blue one. And this one is called, not that it really matters. I don't know what it's called. It's just called India Thrine Blue. Uh, and then I just used black for some of my other images. So I'm kind of thinking that I want this to be more like of, of, a, of a collage scene where I've got my lovely background and I'm thinking that that would go good there because the other thing I want to put on here is a ruler. I absolutely love this ruler. I am going to distress the edge a little bit. I could have taken my pit pen and gone along the edge of this, but I wanted to make this look a little bit a little bit more grungy, I guess. Not, not, not a lot, but I just wanted to do the edges on that ruler, which would be a string of numbers as well. And there's a string of numbers along the edge of this. I think I said that already. Okay, so then I want to put this down roughly here. So that's going to determine where I'm going to put my clouds and stuff. I think I'm happy with the clouds there. I'm going to just put this down with a little bit of glue because I got all these little pokey edges. I do use just Elmer's glue, but I use Elmer's glue all glue. I don't use the school glue. It's, it has too much water content and it's kind of slimy and things don't stick as well. And I don't care. I can go later and really try to stick that down. If I'm finding it's not sticking well because of the background, which it shouldn't, it's just acrylic paint, but so, uh, sometimes it gets fussy. Okay, so I'm going to put that down. And like I said, if it doesn't, I've got some stronger glue I can use. I have Fabri-Tac here on the desk if it doesn't really go down. Okay, so then there's a ruler for my string of numbers, but also for a weather related, I have a thermometer. And this is a vintage thermometer that I got again off uh, raw pixel, I think. And I have black in the edges, but I just like to distress it just a little bit. I think that always looks nice. My favorite, I think, for doing stuff like this is the Tim Holtz, the vint uh, vintage photo, I think it is. Yeah. That's my favorite. Okay, so I'm going to use that as a weather-related item. And then for my bird, I have this little birdie. He's going to go in there somewhere. But I also have some florals that I wanted to use for the collaged background. And I thought about cutting that off, but I kind of like the white space behind there. So I'm going to leave that. 
and I think I like it up in the air like that. And then I'll put my bird there and I have a few more leaves to make that. And then I have a couple more flowers that I wanted to just see if, if I felt that would work well with the background. And I think I'm kind of liking that just the way it is. So the next thing I want to get down is just this background, I guess. And I'm going to use my runner for that. Get that down. Right about here, I guess. And then I think I'll just get the ruler down. But I think I'll just, for now, just tack it in the middle until I get my birds down. So I want this about here. Okay, and then I think that's going to go like so. There, and then let's get Mr. Birdie down here. Just going to glue him down. The birds have just started taking over in the mornings, which I absolutely love. Nothing better than being woke when you wake up listening to the birds out in the garden. So when I took out my grapevines that were firmly entrenched, I only had three. I'm going to, in that bed where I had them, I'm going to do some bul more bulbs. So I do have some day lily there. Some stargazer lilies are in that same bed. But I want to do some dahlias and uh, some gladiolas. I haven't um, planted gladiolas in quite a few years, but it's something that I used to love doing. And my mother used to love them. So I used to make bouquets and take them out to my mom's. And I loved uh, to do that. So I haven't ha had the gladiolas for a long time. So I'm going to go over to either Kent, which is a building supply, but they have a nice selection of bulbs and stuff. I don't think a lot of the summer stuff, the, the garden stuff is out yet, though. The garden centers really, it's a little bit early here. I love getting stuff at Costco, too. They have, um, that's where I get my hanging baskets. I usually get a couple. And I particularly love the ones with the purple uh, petunias because they're just everlasting and they just go all summer long, which I think is absolutely divine. Uh, so Bobby was over last night and we went out in the shed and uh, got my, all my yard furniture and Kind of straightened it out, put my little, I have like a little snow blower thing. It's electric, it's more a snow thrower, but it, um, it's not like a snow shovel. It's, it is a little snow blower. He got it for me last year. Bless his heart. Okay, so I think that's coming along. I kind of like that. I'm just not sure where, I, you know, I really think I like it just, just there. So I don't think I'm going to put anything else. I have another piece of vine, of the vine, that I can put. I could put it in behind the ruler there, kind of like that, which I do like that. And then I can tuck that end of the vine. I could tuck it under here so it looks like it's kind of growing around. The ruler so it's integrated and I don't even care if the rulers a little bit on an angle I think that adds adds a little something I think it's not much but it's not it's uh, not exactly straight and then we'll just get that part down so I do need to paint the deck this well I try to do it every year but last year we had so much rain that I didn't get it all all painted. Well, it's a paint stain. And I we've noticed that there's a couple boards that are need to be replaced. They just got too too soggy and wet last year. 
and how no we want to this up this way i'm kind of thinking i like that there okay and then we'll get our weather thermometer down i thought this was this is so cute i have an indoor outdoor thermometer so i always keep track of what the temperature is inside and outside and i have a little bullet journal thing that I try to write in but um, to be honest I'm not that compliant I usually either craft working crafting or I'm just too tired to do any much of anything that involves thinking so I'm kind of liking how that how that is and we have all our items we have our string of numbers we have uh, weather related items a bird I've done some stamping oh that's what I wanted to do so I was thinking that I would possibly my friend Christine hi Christine from the UK has had sent me some stamps so I was kind of thinking I might tuck the stamps kind of in behind the cloud which I kind of liked that effect kind of liking that how that kind of looked I just felt that it was a bit I just thought it was funny so I think I am gonna put those in I quite like that so we'll put uh, I might trim that just a bit we're gonna put King Charles down it seems so weird after all this time of calling him Prince Charles to call him King Charles. Uh, I'm a I'm a huge royal fan, and I just my well wishes and blessings go to Kate right now with her struggles. And hopefully she'll be fine. She's somebody that I I mean she's younger than I am, but I really look up to her, the way she handles herself, and I just love her. I think she's she's done uh, a great job at being a mother and a, a figurehead in her own way. Okay, so we're gonna get Queen Elizabeth down. I cried so much when she died. I don't know why I was really affected by it. It just seemed like I've known her my whole life. And it just seemed like a huge loss. If you're not a royal, you probably would never understand that. But, but I am. So I'm devoting this page to the queen and her son. And hopefully she's, well, I think she is looking down and helping them out. <laughs> so I really like how that has ended up. I really think that's cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit more stamping to draw things together. And to do that, I'm just going to get some of my little ledger stamps. Just got to reach here. Sorry for reaching. Should have had this prepared. But I like... Vicky P. She's just come out with a new stamp set, which is Secret Diary, I think, through Stamp Area, um, at which I love some of those new stamps that she's brought out. But this is one of my favorite stamps for the Ledger stamp. So I just want to just do some ad hoc stamping. Kind of in the clouds. This is a text stamp as opposed to a, a scroll printed stamp. But I like it. Okay, and then maybe a little bit up in there. Just to draw things together. And then I have couple scroll stamps. I'm 
my mixed media stamps. And these are just old Stampin' Up! stamps. I have some Art by Marlene stamps, but I like this little fine scroll that we can put through there. And our little put through our weather vane, which I like that. A little bit at the end of the ruler, I think. And possibly kind of some down here. We could add to that. Okay, so I'll wipe those off in a minute. And then I do like my coffee stamps. I will need a little stamping platform for that. And which one am I going to use? I think I'll use uh, stamp platform. There you go. I think I will use this one here because I don't want a big imprint. I just want a little. And I'll put one there. So and then maybe down there. Oh, I'm liking that. And maybe a little up there. And then I'm just going to take one of the smaller ones, one of these little guys, because I often like doing sort of a double ring, pairing them up. It's always nice to have a little pair of something. I think that's okay, just the one there. And we could stop at that and call that a collage. But I was thinking, but I'm not sure if I would like, oh, I know what I want to do. I just want to put a little, a little ring through there. Do I want the same one or something a little different? I think I'll just do this little half one. And I just want to put, there's already some cancellation there. Actually, instead of doing that, I've got my little cancellation ones. I think I'll just use, I got this a long time ago. I don't even know where I got it. And I think I'll use this, little squiggly lines, just to cancel a bit there. And then I have a little postage that says positive post. And we all need to be positive these days. So I'm just going to stamp that in the cloud, maybe up there. <laughs> that looks cute. So then the last thing I thought that I might do, and I think I've changed my mind, but I could think about it and do it later, is to do some splotches uh, by just taking some paint. I've got some white paint here, or the, I think this would be too faint, faint, and then really wa watering it down, taking my paintbrush and doing a few little splotches. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's try it. Oops, that's way too much paint. I'm sorry. And then I just need, I've got a little spray water here. If you've got some more liquid paint, then just use that or some uh, white ink would be fine. Or Because you just, you just want like a really liquid consistency. I don't really like the big blotches. Vicky P loves doing a lot of blotching or uh, splotches of paint, but not a huge fan. We'll, we'll see what happens. Get that all stirred up. We need a little bit more. And I never know sometimes 
the right consistency. So I just do it to where I think, and then I just do a couple sample splotches. And I wanna cover my bird's face. I don't want it on his face. So I just need a smaller piece of scrap paper. And I don't really want it on the stamp faces. I don't know why, I just don't want to cover their faces with paint. Maybe it's disrespectful, I'm not sure. And then I'll just do a sample here and see what happens. Let's see. You can hardly see it, but I think I kind of like it. Looking forward to running over to Tim Hortons today, being Saturday. There. That's got a couple splotches. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I have to go wash my brush right away. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that today. I kind of have. It's been a nice little play, something a little different. I really want my collage book at the end of the year to just be, I don't know, some different techniques and layouts that I really enjoy lo looking back on. But... We have all the prompts. If you did like this, I'd love for you to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I have put out a couple other videos this weekend, um, so hopefully uh, you don't feel bombarded. But uh, uh, Daphne's Diary went out yesterday. Uh, today, actually, I'm putting out one of my junk journal series, and then this will come up on tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, so until we meet again, I hope you stay safe and well, and bye for now.